Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions, my name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out Ali Ali by developer Roll7 published by Devolver Digital. This is the skateboarding game you've been waiting for for quite a while, finally come to PC, you've probably heard this name thrown around a few times but maybe you weren't sure exactly what it was about and I myself fell into that same camp. Uh, and I figure this one would definitely be worth making a video for since I've been a fan of skateboarding games for quite a while. I'm a fan of skateboarding in general, only, you know, I haven't done it in years, really. Uh, but, you know, I've followed the Tony Hawk series, I've followed the Skate series, and there hasn't really been much uh, representation of this particular action platformer subgenre. It's a bit of a stretch, perhaps, in some respects to call it that. But I did want to uh, definitely weigh in on this one because it is quite fun, and I spent about an hour with it. Uh, when I played it on the NLSS the other day, and, you know, in general, I just want to sort of stress that this is not so much a Tony Hawk game. I think if you were going to compare it to anything, it's a little bit more in line with something like a 2D sprite-based Trials, only skateboarding instead of, you know, motorcycles or dirt bikes. Uh, so, you know, with that in mind, I think we should jump into this and we'll check out some of the various game modes and opportunities that we are afforded here in Ali Ali. So, first of all, here's our options menu. Uh, most of the usual stuff that you could expect, we've got some key bindings, which you probably don't need to look at, video settings, which are basically just full screen or not, and then the various settings you can put. Uh, we've got languages, we've got credits, and, well, we can check through those on our own time, I suppose. Let's go in and actually play the game. I actually have done the tutorial, I've done a bunch of the general... Uh, first levels here. We've got five levels per chapter and then pro levels, which I believe are probably going to be unlocked when we reach five stars on any of the levels. As you can see, I'm quite bad. All of my stars here are really quite poor. And there is a bit of a learning curve on this game. When I first jumped into it, I was having a terrible time quite understanding exactly what you need to do uh, to be successful on a run of this. And it's probably for the best that I've got an hour's worth of experience on this one and that I'm not just going in blind. Uh, I think you'll have a much better viewing experience, hopefully. But I will start at the beginning, and we will... Uh, oh, we should also check out the Trictionary, so you can see some of the options that were for. There's quite a few things you can do in this game, uh, although I can't say 100% that there's as much strategic arrangement of these uh, moves as I might have hoped, or at least that I've seen. Or maybe it's just because I'm playing at a very early level. Because uh, actually there's a lot of stuff that I've probably never even pulled off in the actual game. Because uh, it's a lot about timing and it's a lot about being able to read the spacing of where you're going to land and how to position yourself to not crash. Uh, so there's all of our grinds and you saw all of our tricks. Let's start out at Urban 1 and I'll see if I can get better than 3 stars now. Uh, and my best score right now is 8,907, best combo 7,119. Uh, there is a lot to do with leaderboards and leaderboard score tracking, so this is primarily like a score attack style game. And from what I've been told, the main goal of the game is to get a higher score than Red Panda Gamer. So I'm going to try and do my best on that, although I'm pretty skeptical that that's going to happen if Northern Lion couldn't even pull it off. So why don't we jump in and actually play some Ali Ali. So they want me to get a score of 20k for the first star, get a combo of 6k for the second star, get a no sloppy landings for the third star, land a frontside shove it, and land a trick perfect. So that would get me all five stars. It's nice that they give you a, a, like a list of these things, so you can actually just sort of check them off one at a time. I presume that I don't need to get them all in one run, by the way that it looks like the three stars are still lit up, and then there's two that I can still get. Uh, and predominantly it's not so much uh, the difficulty that comes from like earning all the stars uh, when you're playing at an early level it's really about just being able to not crash when you first start out and not getting sloppies is also pretty important and I will spell out that the main thing you're gonna want to practice is making sure you get the rhythm down when you land you always want to hit a uh, just as well as when you pull off a jump because uh, basically what you're doing is, if you've ever played Skate, and I know I'm getting lots of sloppies here because I'm just kind of demonstrating this concept, uh, but if you've ever played Skate, it sort of emulates the way that ollies are done in that, where you like you hold down and then you smack up on the control stick, uh, and of course I should stress very highly that you're going to want a 360 controller, or some kind of controller at least, to play this. I imagine this would be very difficult to do on the keyboard, uh, although maybe not impossible because there are options for it. Uh, but there's really just like two kind of binary ways that you're going to generally end up failing a level. Uh, and by failing, I mean not finishing uh, a run. And those are generally that you'll either run out of momentum and fall down. For example, if you're on a long grind and you just kind of can't keep going because uh, you haven't pushed off the ground for a while. Or the other one is you land on some sort of uneven, unskatable surface. And uh, that generally will 
uh, crash your character. And I'll show you what it looks like when you crash if we could just like hit into something here. Because the animations can be rather comical at times. Of course, this level is so easy that there's very few things to actually crash on. My character can't even crash. Can't do anything right. Well, I'm sure there'll be options to show you that later. So we can get two kicks, start things off, do a, an ollie into a sick land. I don't know why I'm getting so many sloppies. I actually had just done a couple of runs of this before I started, and I was getting nothing but perfects. And I think it's because I'm just hitting A slightly too late uh, when I do my landings. Uh, we obviously want to focus on trying to get combos whenever possible. Yeah, I'm totally hitting the button, like, what I believe to be exactly at the moment that I'm hitting the ground, but I think I want to hit it, like, slightly earlier than that or something. Uh, there is definitely an element to this that feels a little bit... I don't know if Guitar Hero-ish is the right way to say it, but you do certainly fall into a rhythm uh, as you're jumping and landing and jumping and landing. And after you do this for a while... Uh, things just start to make sense, and you don't really have to think about it very much, which is great. Because uh, when I was first starting out, I was having a really hard time concentrating on talking and, and playing at the same time. And now, uh, my hands just kind of take care of the whole situation by themselves. So, if anything, that's kind of the way that I'm getting to the Guitar Hero uh, or Rock Band metaphor. Because it's not a direct metaphor, obviously. There's just an element of it that's there. So, when it's judging me with the sick or okay or sloppy... Uh, like I said, I think that's just judging me based on how close to landing that I'm hitting A on the landing. Uh, and when I was talking with Ryan about this, he was saying how it would kind of make the game way too easy if you didn't have to hit A on landings, and I kind of agree now. Uh, when at first we had started, I was like, man, it would really be nice if I just could have like a super beginner mode where you didn't have to land with A anymore. Uh, but it would really kind of throw off the balance of how this game feels, and that would probably not be for the better. Uh, so I got a new best score there of 20,884, which is not fantastic or anything, but I can at least check my leaderboard ranking. Uh, 242, which is, I guess, okay. I mean, I don't know how many people are on the leaderboards in total, but it's no number 7, I can tell you that much. So why don't I skip Urban, because you kind of get an idea how that looks. We'll go to the Junkyard, where there's going to be a bit of a more diverse setup of things to hop over and traverse. Uh, it starts out pretty simple, like I showed you. There's basically just staircases and various, like, construction materials. And then as we get further in, the obstacles get a little bit more absurd. And I'm not sure who's putting all these sweet railings for us to grind in the middle of the junkyard, but I'm glad whoever did it did it. Because uh, it certainly is quite helpful for us as a skateboarder. I mean, without their help, we would have nothing on our run. So hopefully you're seeing what I'm talking about when I mention that this is sort of a trialsy kind of thing. Uh, you obviously can't crash, because that will end your run. You only get one shot per run, and that's me running out of momentum right there. Uh, but you definitely have to concentrate, try and stay... Oh, okay, that didn't work out well for our character. And thankfully that's about as gory as the crashes get, so if you're worried about it being extremely violent, uh, as sometimes these skateboarding things get... Like, I can't even watch some... Oh, ow. I can't even watch some of those skate videos because they get a little bit too violent for my taste. People breaking bones and doing horrible things to their bodies. Um, I mean, I know that that's just an inherent risk with skateboarding in general, but I don't know. I just get easily kind of squeamish when it comes to this stuff. So I sort of appreciate that there's like two levels of damage that you can put on your character. Uh, obviously a criticism not too many people would care about. It's just kind of me. Uh, I should mention, of course, the game looks pretty nice. We've got a whole variety of parallaxing backgrounds. Uh, we've got an outstanding soundtrack as well, and I think all in all things considered, uh, we've got a pretty nice package of a game that is set to keep you playing for a long time. I mean, the challenges that are there are pretty significant, and I have not come near uh, to being able to master the basic gameplay, let alone take on the very difficult challenges. And I think this is where the Trials comparison, and I know I, I keep harping on this point, but it does seem apt, considering there's a lot of... Uh, opening up gameplay, like there's a level of this for just about everybody where it comes across pretty accessible, but then if you want to take the gameplay much, much further, you can of course do that as well. And I'm doing very few really sick tricks here, so you'll have to pardon my gameplay. Uh, hopefully you don't mind too much, because I'm not that good. Really should have had that. Really thought I had a good landing on that one. Uh, but yeah, this is the junkyard, and things are not still all that difficult here, but when we get into some of the further levels, we actually... Oh, I lost all of my score for getting a sloppy on that. Uh, there's actually going to be some... Oh, that was right at the end. Uh, some really tough stuff, and I'll skip ahead and show you level 1 of base, which is uh, not a level that I've beaten yet, although I haven't tried all that hard just yet. The big key thing here is that, as you'll notice, like half the level is made up of snow, 
So if you end up landing on that snow, it's GG on your run. We're definitely uh, gonna have to be a lot more careful. The spacing on our jumps, and of course if we get sloppies at this point, we're also gonna lose there too, because, well, sloppies kind of stagger your character, and I'm not sure why I'm getting so many of them, because I really am hitting the button at what I thought to be the right time, but, uh, you know, blame the controller or something instead of the actual game, and totally landed that properly. We'll do it again. We'll get it. I'm a little sad there's not really much in the way of, like, customization or anything like that. I kind of wish there was a little bit more in that respect, but maybe it's just because I'm kind of spoiled on Tony Hawk games and Skate, where it's like every single element is totally versatile and can be modified to some degree. I mean, there's no actual reason why I need to customize. There's not really multiplayer in a strict sense, and this is ridiculous. I'm totally hitting this at the right time. Maybe it is actually my controller that's doing something weird. I, I hit it, like, right on time. Maybe it's just the base that, uh, maybe they have, a, like, a sliding scale? Oh, I got it that time. Uh, maybe as you get further into the game, the chapters actually ramp up the uh, granularity with which you have to be careful to hit the A button on your landings, because that is a drastic difference in what I seem to be noticing between level 1 and this. Yeah, I hit it right on time. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's a bug, maybe it's my fault, I'm not actually sure. Let's go back and do level 1 of the port uh, before we wrap things up. So I think that you kind of get the idea already what this game's about. It's not a super complex game, which is partially why I'm so interested in it, because it's it's the kind of thing where it's super accessible and easy to get into, but you can also play it for a super long amount of time if you really want to take the time and get good at it. Oh my god, with the sloppies. This is ridiculous. But the competitive element, and this is something I've expressed a lot of times in videos in the past, uh, the fact that there's leaderboards and you can track your friends' scores and see when they get better and try and one-up them. Uh, that goes a really long time for me uh, trying to keep up. And by the way, that dude's face in the background totally looks like me, and it freaks me out. There's one guy that has, like, a photograph for a face, and it looks like my face, and I don't know what that's about. Just sort of hoping it was actually me. Again, soundtrack to this also, really, really good. I would definitely go about looking for this soundtrack, because I would listen to this music all on its own, no problem. Uh, and I haven't unlocked Neon City yet, but since I can't actually seem to land tricks on the base, I think I'm going to be uh, a long way away from being able to play those levels. So, that was Ali Ali all in all. Ali Ali all in all. There you go. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Check it out if you're even a remote fan of any kind of uh, Trials-style action platforming and skateboard games. There's not a lot out there really like this, so, I mean, if this looked appealing to you, no-brainer. Go ahead and give it a shot. I think you'll definitely have a good time with it. Uh, see if you can one-up my scores, and I'm sure it won't be all that difficult, uh, but I do look forward to seeing you all on the leaderboard. So, with that, I will wrap us up for another day. The download link for this, or the purchase link, rather, is going to be in the description. If you'd like to go pick up a copy of Ali Ali on Steam, you can definitely do so. The first few days, it's available for 10% uh, off, so if you're interested, pick it up quick. And if you find this video later on, sorry about that. Well, what can I do, right? Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, definitely consider leaving a like on it. It does help me out a whole bunch. Make sure you come back again tomorrow. New episodes of Indie Impressions go up every single day. So if you're a fan of indie games and or want to find out about weird and strange and off-the-beaten-path artistic, original, and unique games, uh, this is the place for you. So consider subscribing. That also helps me out a ton. So I will see you all back for another one tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you later.